You don't eat pig? I will not be eating this one. I saw where it came from. Yeah, you can get emotionally attached to them if you've seen them running about and that. I was the same when I went to see the film, Winnie the Pooh. Did you never ate poo again? Why am I here? You, my friend, are here to carry the pig. So why are you here? I am here to pay for the pig. Why did you not just give me the 200 euros for the pig? Because, young man, armed with the negotiating skills of a blind, drunken goat, you would have paid 200 euros. I thought you wanted a pig, not a goat. I am about to come out of that shop having paid only 50 euros for said pig. The price is 200. How did you pay 50? Stand back, my friend. Watch and learn as the master goes to work. Excuse me, you see that pig? Thank you. <laughs> you won't move on the price of the pig. Come on, I've got another idea. What are we doing here? This is disgusting. Take it from someone who knows. Fresh meat guidelines are ludicrously stringent. If this meat was thrown away today, there is absolutely nothing wrong with it so long as it's cooked today. Do you want us to cook meat that has been thrown away? Bingo! Close to the bone, sweeter is the meat. Last slice of Virginia ham is the best. Looks just the job meat. that. Yes. You don't eat pig? I will not be eating this one. I saw where it came from. Yeah, you can get emotionally attached to them if you've seen them running about and that. I was the same when I went to see the film Winnie the Pooh. Did you never eat poo again? Piglet. Piglet was one of the characters in Winnie the Pooh. Honestly, you try and have a decent conversation. Come on now, ladies and gentlemen. We have space for one more competitor. The rules are very simple. All you have to do is eat. No takers? There. Oh! Thank you, sir. Step right this way. <laughs> Bloody hell, I think we should have got a bigger pig. Great. We may as well all forget it. Old Jimmy Five Bellies has got it in the bag. Hiya. Look at the state of you two. You look as if you couldn't manage a mouthful each. I'm sorry. That pig is going down, down my throat. You know hoppers haven't got a chance. All right, Donald, calm down. It's only a bit of fun. Oh, no, I don't, I don't mean to be rude. This is just jive talk. All the big fighters do it before a match. You're eating a plate of pork, not going 12 rounds with Mike Tyson. Bring on the meat! Are you sure you want to do this, B? I can drink or eat any man under the table. There you go. She's got the idea. <sighs> Your mother wouldn't know a plate of pork if it hit her in the face. Are you talking about my family? Sorry. The rules are very simple. Eat as much pig as you can. Mind the crackling. There's no runners up. It's a winner takes all. OK. We are now full to capacity. Very full. <laughs> Gentlemen and lady, raise your forks. Three, two, one, eat! Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who? Dai, Gary, you need to wear your life vest. Come on, let's get this bitch steaming! <laughs> oh, I don't mean you. I, I'm, I'm in the pedalo. Look, if Elena says you should wear your life vest, you should wear it. Oh, listen to him. I told you he gets nervous around water. I'm not nervous. I'm just saying if we're going far out, then I think you should put it on. Just keep pedalling, mate. The only thing you have to worry about is what to do with yourself when me and Elena go for a swim. 